Well, good morning, everyone. We're excited that you guys joined us this morning to hear about our annual conference. Um, it's a, you know, every year we say this, but every year it gets better and better. And so we are really excited to share this morning some of the highlights that's going to happen during our conference, but it does, it gets better and better, you know, just like your all's events in your local communities, as you continue to build upon them, bring in more volunteers, bring in more board members to help support and the, the you know, the imagination just goes wild. So you guys are in for a terrific treat this year. So we're gonna start off um, talking about the logistics of the conference. And so I'd like to have Kathy talk about some of the logistic things that you guys sure want to know, and then we'll go from there. Good morning. My name's Kathy Wilkerson. This is gonna be my first conference and I'm very excited. I hope y'all are too. I'm gonna let you know about our hotel. That is the Hilton St. Louis at the ballpark. It's at 1 South Broadway Street, St. Louis. And we have right out of our block of rooms. So we have overflow hotel rooms at the Pennywell at 400 Olive Street. It's about 0.2 miles from our hotel, the conference hotel, where all the events are taking place. So you should be fine if you get into the overflow. Parking is a block from the hotel. It's not the hotel's parking, but they have a deal with them. You're gonna be able to get a sticker, which will give you reduced at $25 a night if you park in the garage, if you're staying at the hotel, and it'll be charged to your hotel room. If you're not staying in the hotel room and you're driving in and out, you'll get a sticker for a reduced rate. So that should give you a little bit of a break on parking there. And I think that's all I'm talking about. I think for oh, now. Wait, the hotel layout. <laughs> I forgot that. The hotel layout is the lobby level is where our sessions are going to take place. So we're going to have sessions in the Lindbergh room, ballpark two and three and Broadway one and two. And then our expo, the uh, general sessions, the five and dime, they're all gonna be taking place in the grand ballroom, which is at the top of the escalators. And the grand, or the grand foyer area is where the registration is gonna be. I'm just going to point out that the hotel is, while we say the lobby level, <laughs> it's still kind of multiple levels in that there are ramps and different things. And so I just recommend to everybody, once you get there, just kind of walk around. And once you become familiar with it, um, it becomes easier to navigate. But we, we as the staff have kind of determined that these maps are a guide. Um, and can help us, but um, you might encounter, a, a, you know, three or four stairs or a little ramp um, to get from one area on the same floor to the other area. So just wanted to wanted to point that out. Thank you. Thanks, Kathy. Okay, Logan, you want to talk about registration? Yes. So as you see on the screen, we have our registration <laughs> hours at the top. Um, you can come visit us anytime during those windows of time, Wednesday 10 to 5.30, Thursday 7.30 to 5, and Friday 7.30 to 4. Registration is going to be in the grand foyer, like Kathy said, which is going to be at the top of the escalators on the second floor. You can come and pick up your registration packet, your goodie bag, your water bottle. And so your registration packet and goodie bag are going to contain your your name bag, lanyard, program and inserts, event tickets if they were purchased, and promotional items. We will have some of the event tickets still available. They have not sold out yet. So if you haven't purchased them, I would purchase them before you arrive. You can do that through our website. But if you can't do it through the website and have to do it on site, we will be able to do that. But do note, none of the events, the tickets will not be sold at the event themselves. You have to buy them at the registration desk. And that will be manned by myself, uh, Laura, and Stacy. So there'll be three of us there to assist you in anything you need, registration-wise, ask us questions. We can also help you get around the hotel as well and give you directions. 
Logan, we have a question about do we register each day or on just the first day? And so I'm I'm not sure if the question is just general registration for the conference, which that answer would be we we want them to register ahead of time and and do that now. But if they're talking about a, and and I guess for that registration too, they can register for the entire session or our entire conference, or they can register for just one day um, or potentially two days if they wanted to. Um, the best deal um, and more bang for your buck would be to register for the all three days. But if they're asking about event tickets, so they can get event tickets uh, each day. Is that correct? Explain yes, how that each, happens. Each day is not sold out. You can come to registration desk and purchase the tickets. I would recommend you do that now rather than later, just so we can have all that ready for you. And Re they could sell out. Yes, and they can sell out. Uh, when you get to conference, you only have to come to the registration desk the first day you arrive. You will have everything in your registration packet for your whole conference experience. So you really only have to check in once, then you'll get your lanyard and everything there. Uh, it's easier for us. Yeah, it's easier for us if you register ahead of time, because then we've got all your materials together in a registration packet when you come to registration and we just hand it to you and you're good to go, as opposed to having to, to, to do the transaction there at the table. Yes, and going back to what Keith touched on a little bit, registration, you can do the multiple ways. You can register just for that Thursday or just for that Friday, just to go to a few sessions you want. But the biggest deal for your buck, like he said, is to register for all three days, which is the full registration. You get access to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We do have the CDBG workshop or um, mm -hmm. community development on block grant. Deep dive. <laughs> deep dive. That's on Wednesday, which the full registration, you do get access to that. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, Thursday and Friday. Since yeah. It's the and and we've had early bird, which has passed. So early bird is finished. So now we're just kind of at regular reg registration pricing, but it's going to go up um, on site. And so again, your your best value would be to to do that now. And actually, it, the on site price will begin tomorrow morning at eight thirty um, because today is the eighteenth. We have you will have until eleven fifty nine today uh, p.m. to register for the current uh, current prices, the regular rates. Uh, once okay. tomorrow begins, we will, it will be up in a little price. So if you haven't registered yet, now's your time. <laughs> okay. Okay. And we have a question. I think this is more for Kathy, and I'll meet myself in just a second after I ask it, because Kathy and I are in the same room. We don't want to uh, have cross um, interference. Um, to attain, how, how do we attain a parking pass, um, and do we contact the hotel directly? If they're staying at the hotel, it's just kind of automatic. They tell them at the, at the front desk, right? Yes, Kathy said yes. So you would just coordinate that with the with the front desk if you're staying at the hotel or if you're not staying at the conference hotel for some reason. Um, you would, uh, you know, the parking could be at your hotel and you could walk or take an Uber or, um, but um, the hotel will take care of that when you check in if you're at um, the Hilton Hotel. Um, Pennywell also yeah. has parking too. Pennywell is with well within walking distance. Yes, mm -hmm. at a very cool hotel. Yeah, and if the conference hotel does get full, there's parking across the street. Um, you know, we're in the hub of, you know, the Cardinal Stadium, so there's parking all around us. So if the hotel would happen to get full, there's parking right across the street in another um, multi-lot. Yeah, and if you're just driving in for the day, there, as Gayla said, there are those lots that you could park in. There's plenty of public parking down in that area that you would just pay a day rate then. All right, back to the slides. All right, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the Five and Dime. As you all know, we try to get many of our local merchants in our areas to um, bring stuff and, and we display for the Five and Dime. So we're, we're working on that right now. Um, actually, Marla's on her way in and she's the one that coordinates that. So we'll be working heavily on that today. And so that's always fun and it's there for you all. We have some fun things to unveil to you all new um, at this conference. But as you all know, people-centered revitalization is, is our theme this year. And it's all about you all. You know, it's all about the people doing the work in our districts and our communities and one of the things that we're doing is a raffle again. It was a huge success last year. Um, I know that you all bought tickets to win that big prize, which was the mural, the RC mural in your community. And it did just recently get finished. Um, 
and for, for the last uh, conference, but we also decided to add another huge prize to this as well. Um, and so I'm not gonna give it away, but um, it's huge and it's something you might sit on. It's huge, uh, but we also have lots of prizes um, even beyond that that we're gonna be giving away as part of the raffle. Uh, the neat thing about the raffle as well is that we're going to have um, an interactive mural that you're all are going to be able to design if you buy a raffle ticket. Um, actually, if you buy three raffle tickets, um, then you're going to be able to get this neat little um, uh, piece of the mural. And then we're going to have a big display of a mural at the conference where you're going to get markers and you're going to be able to color in. Um, our big mural. And then we're hoping to be able to use this mural at the evening of excellence for you all to do pictures in front of as well. All right, so Logan. So we can't go to St. Louis without featuring some of our programs and some of the great places in St. Louis. So in front of you, you see Dutchtown, the Cleats Landing and Del Mar. They each have different things going on throughout the conference. Dutchtown, there are going to be two educational tours that will be happening Wednesday. If you haven't bought tickets for that, you can still buy tickets. There are a few of those available. There, they also highlighted a lot of lunch and dinner options. There is a QR code on your screen that you can scan to go to our website and read the blog that we highlighted each of these three districts in. Um, so you can check out some of the things they recommended for food-wise. Dutchtown also has a lot of entrepreneurship eclectic boutiques and a lot of creative space uses. So it's a great place to go to be inspired about what you can do in your own community. For Laclede's Landing, they have a historic tour, archi uh, unique architecture, and also some lunch and dine, uh, dinner options. The historic tour, you can find that on our blog. Just scan that QR code. There is a link that you can pull up the flyer that they provided. Um, that will guide you around their district to the various locations that they wanted to highlight the history and the architecture there. Um, and McLean's also, Landing is the closest one to um, our conference hotel. And so it could it would be an easy walk to get there and right next to the arch grounds if you're exploring those. And on the Friday um, of the conference, every Friday they do lunch on the landing. And so during your lunchtime break uh, at the conference, um, you can go down and listen to some music and uh, enjoy some food down there. You beat me to it. I was just getting to it. Yes, yeah, like Keith said, there is that lunch on the landing that they host that you, they would love you to uh, come and join. And last is Del Mar. Um, there is going to be an educational tour as well in Del Mar uh, to just show off all the things that they're doing. They are the newest in our St. Louis Main Streets program, but they by far like the other two are doing fantastic, all three of them are. Um, they do have breakfast options and lunch options as well. So check out that blog, which has a lot of things they recommended for food to come and eat. And Logan, oh, isn't that isn't that picture the new uh, deli and deli divine? And uh, del so that picture is Delmar Delmar divine. divine. Deli divine. It's located in Delmar divine. I actually got to go when I was back seeing family and go visit. It is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You guys need to go eat there. It's so good. And then here's where all the districts are located in relation to where our conference uh, hotel is. That our, the logo for the conference um, is over our hotel. You can see the Cleeds Landing is the closest, Dutchtown to the south, and Del Mar to the northwest. Okay, well, Logan, you just made me hungry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready for some breakfast. All right, Keith, let's talk about um, invite-only events. Yeah, so when we put on the conference, we do have a couple kind of pre-conference things that uh, are invitation only or specific to a, a, a particular audience. So we always hold a meeting with our directors, so our executive directors of our Main Street programs. They've all been given an invitation um, to attend, those that are under agreement. Actually, it's a requirement of them as part of their agreement with us. Um, so it's just some training for them training resources, updates, um, discussion time. And then also we do um, from time to time, uh, do something for the support staff of those Main Street programs that have additional staff. So so that's on Wednesday. Um, before that meeting though, we do have the, on the right side of the screen, an urban forum. This is something new. And again, it's invitation only. We've invited those urban areas within the state of Missouri, Kansas City, St. Louis, Springfield, Columbia, um, to come and see the pilot program, um, hear from the districts about the pilot program in St. Louis, 
kind of the best practices, successes, um, things that have been learned over the last three years in relation to that program. And so if you're out there listening and you're part of an urban um, area of Missouri and didn't see this invite, um, please let us know. Um, you'll get an email from me at the end of this with my email address in it. Feel free to reach out to me and I can send you that invitation if you haven't received it. But um, we're going to be highlighting those that, that work in, in, uh, in St. Louis. And then um, later in the day, kind of the, the public side of, of kicking off the, the conference on Wednesday, um, we're running some educational tours. And those are from 2.30 to 6. And, and as we talked earlier, those are ticketed events. And so you want to get those in advance just so we make sure we have enough seats. We do have a capacity just because of the transportation that will be used for these uh, two tours. Um, one is in Del Mar. It's called Makers and Shakers. And so looking at their maker district um, uh, from Maid, Craft Alliance, Third Degree Glass, but then also some awesome developments that have been happening um, in that district, Del Mar Divine, which we mentioned. Um, I believe you're going to be getting a tour by Maxine Clark, who is the Build-A-Bear uh, founder, um, and that's her project um, that she did in Del Mar. It's a, an excellent example of how to repurpose an old hospital. Um, into offices and nonprofit co-working spaces and um, bringing those folks together, but also some other development, uh, Kingsway development uh, that's happening on Del Mar. There are a lot of cool things happening. And then the second tour is food entrepreneurs um, are shaking up the food industry. And so this is featuring more the Dutchtown uh, district, um, starting off though at the Soulard Farmers Market, and then moving to Dutchtown, where there is a, a, a business incubator, the Neighborhood Innovation Center, and then Urban Eats, which is a food hall type um, a food incubator with also a commercial kitchen in the back that you can, um, uh, that uh, entrepreneurs can rent and, and have their food business. Um, so I think you're going to get some samples of some food on that tour um, and, and good stuff happening. So look at those two. Uh, full descriptions are, are on the website. And, uh, and if you're interested in those, sign up early because I think they're both going to sell out. And then we kind of mentioned that deep dive, the CDBG, the Community Development Block Grant. Um, the state of Missouri is changing or, yeah, changing, updating um, a downtown program that they've had, um, modernizing it, um, and based upon some feedback from both us and our Main Street directors um, are mirroring it after the Iowa uh, program that they did for downtown revitalization. So we have Brandon Jansen, who is the CDBG um, coordinator, and then we also have Jim Thompson, and he's bringing along a friend from Iowa that they're going to talk about some of their best practices that they've used in Iowa. So you can get some ideas from them because, again, Missouri is kind of mirroring what they did in Iowa because it was so successful. Um, and so that session is from 2.30 to 5.30, a deep dive. Um, and you're going to hear about the new program in Missouri. You're going to be one of the first ones to hear about it because it's really just getting rolled out right now. So, so I invite you to uh, participate in that. All right. Thank you, Keith. Um, so next we're going to talk about our, really our first day um, of full conference, full, first full day. So we start out the day, of course, um, Logan will have registration open at 730. Um, are you talking? Did I miss one? You skipped right over with email. Oh, open your soon. Okay, let's do Wednesday night first. Yeah. Go ahead. Logan. So Wednesday night is going to be 630 to 8 at uh the Crown Room, which is located at the Ballpark Village in the Budweiser Brew House. It's 601 Clark Avenue. It's right across the street from our hotel. So we want everyone to meet at the Walnut Street exit of the hotel. And then we're going to walk over in groups. Um, your ticket to the event will include tasty appetizers and one drink ticket. We ask that you come in business casual. And I cleverly hid all of the activity behind the rules. So as you see on the rules, um, we're gonna do bingo. So there's gonna be three opportunities for you to win a gift basket, but you don't get a sneak peek of what the bingo questions are gonna be. <laughs> so you have to come ready to have fun, get to know people, network, eat, tasty appetizers, drink, and play bingo. And I was gonna say, we, we hear all the time that people love our conference and our workshops because we give them networking opportunities. And so this is one of those, you know, you're going to meet other people who are doing Main Street in other communities, and we hear about those friendships, those interactions that develop and people learning from other people. And so this is, we make sure that we have these networking opportunities at uh, almost everything that we do. So this is the first one of the conference. 
All right, now we're ready for Thursday. So here's a full day. And as Logan talked about, he will have, in case people are just coming in later um, on Wednesday and they don't have their registration packet, registration will be open at 7.30. So no worries, you will have time to get registration packets before we start. Um, Continental breakfast will start about 7.30 in the expo room. And then we're gonna have the 8.30 welcome and opening assembly. And it's again, you know, our theme is people-centered revitalization. So this is all about a celebration of people um, and what they're doing in their communities. And we're excited to start it off and kick it off this way because we're going to have um, some of our small community, rural communities, and talk about what they're doing to our larger urban districts as well, talk about what they're doing. So, you know, as we teach you all, all the time. It's about rip off and duplicate. Well, you guys are going to start off the conference that way and hear about some phenomenal projects that's going on um, in many of our communities across the state, from very small rural to large urban. Um, and then at the end of that, we're having a special heart ceremony. Um, we're not going to talk any more about that than that, but it's going to be, again, I told you all at the beginning, this is going to be a phenomenal conference. Um, and a lot of exciting things are going to happen throughout it. So make for sure that you don't miss out on the opening on Thursday morning, um, because there is going to be at the end of it, a really uh, unique heart ceremony that's going to take place. All right. So Gayla, we have a question okay. from, from one Russ Volmert. Oh, boy. I'm going to let you answer it. Are shorts and Hawaiian shirts considered business casual? <laughs> Asking for a friend, he says. Asking for a friend. Uh, well, let's see, Russ. I believe you're one of them that they need to hunt down to buy a raffle ticket. So I think the louder the shirt you have on, um, oh, no. you know, maybe you need to go borrow some of those from some of your friends because you know you're going to be in competition again um, with Julie Turnipseed on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So as as Gayla said, Thursday really uh, is the full day of the conference. And so we've got some great educational sessions. Um, I'm not going to go into a lot of details about those. They're all online, but we have Main Streeters as presenters, architects, lawyers, marketers, practitioners, board members, national Main Street representatives, government officials, city administrators. We just have all kinds of um, folks that are presenting and sharing their knowledge that would be beneficial and helpful to uh, our Main Street district. So check that out. We've we really feel we, that, that we have a good lineup, but also um, pay attention to um, we have defined some tracks to kind of help you um, figure out what you want um, to attend. So we have some urban tracks um, for those of you that are in more um, largely populated, denser um, areas. We have some foundational tracks that would be for folks. Maybe you have, you're a new board member. Um, or you're an organization that uh, you're like, oh my gosh, we need to go back to the fundamentals um, because we've had some some changes or whatever may happen. And um, so we've identified those or a newer Main Street program. But then we also have following the four points, civic, physical, um, social. So kind of following the four point piece. Um, and then of course we do have some sessions that are more related to historic preservation, which is of course um, one of our ethics. And so um, just, we've identified those um, on the website, but also um, in the program. All right, thanks Keith. So now we're gonna talk about Thursday night. So Thursday night is a show me bash and pitch party. Um, Logan talked earlier about tickets. If you don't have tickets to this, um, you will want to have tickets. Uh, again, you guys, we try to make every single piece that we give you all during conference because we know that everybody um, is time poverty. And so we want to give you all the best experience that we possibly can and learn different things that you can take home. And as we always say, rip off and duplicate, as I already said. But we chose this location, didn't we, Kathy? Because we truly feel that this is something that any huge building considered, you know, small might be, you know, our rural communities huge might be different than this size building, but we can completely do this in our own community. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this building. I have read about it. I have not been there yet like you guys as you're scouting out the locations, but I can't wait to, to go to this space. Uh, so when we toured it, Keith, it was like um, Diane and Kathy and I were like, this is it. This is the place <laughs> because we can do this in our in our other communities. You guys can rip off and duplicate this idea. So 
Um, just a really, really fun um, event planned for you all. We will have a meal together, but it's also the pitch party. So you will be hearing from our grant finalists, which is Fayette, Jackson, Laclede's Landing, Liberty, and Salisbury. So they will be pitching their idea um, for their placemaking uh, project. And then we will have judges, and then the judges will take, um, you know, the participants, uh, those that are there having a meal with us. Um, everybody will get a say on who the winners are. So you guys get ready for that. Um, last year was a lot of fun that we did an independent. And again, this is a $10,000 grant that we're giving um, for a community to do a placemaking project in their community. Uh, transportation begins loading um, at the Walnut Street exit. This will be on your ticket, so you don't have to remember this. Um, at the hotel at 545, though, because we want to start um, this evening at 6 o'clock. Uh, we want to get in there, get set down, start the pitch party, um, feed you all well. Um, we've got a really exciting dessert as well from an entrepreneur that started in St. Louis with a local bakery that has just expanded hugely. So um, it's just not your normal desserts. Uh, so we're excited about that as well. And then you guys get a wristband that you guys get to go play. You can drink and play. I mean, um, look at that space. There's a ton to do there. It's going to be so much fun. That's right. Can't wait to see um, Keith on that teeter-totter. Uh, Logan and Keith can take that on. I hope there are, I like, I, I think the swings would be fun. Um, we, we had a question, Gail. I'm going to repeat the finalist. Uh, we had a question about those. It's Fayette, Jackson, Laclede's Landing, Liberty, and Salisbury. Those are the finalists that will be pitching um, at the Show Me Bash. Okay. So, and that's a ticketed event. Again, be sure and get your tickets. I would do it today, tomorrow, because um, we could potentially sell out for that. We've got a lot of interest in it. It's always fun. Um, so um, go go do that if you haven't yet. You're gonna you don't want to miss out. You don't want to miss out because I got to do my food counts um, <laughs> at Thursday. And want to uh, make sure we have food for you. <laughs> All right. So then um, on Friday we'll have sessions again during the day. Um, all day long. Check those out on the on the website. Uh, we do have a general um, a session too with Jeff Siegler. Um, he used to be affiliated with the Ohio Main Street program, and so he's going to bring some some kind of words of wisdom about community building and um, and different things like that. And he also does have a session um, on uh, on board stuff. So uh, check that out. Our final closing person. Um, Oh yeah, that should be PM, 2.30 to 4 PM. Sorry about that, folks. Um, located in the Grand Ballroom, that's where all of our opening general session closing will be, um, Donovan Ribkema. Um, we have had him before. We had him at national conference. We've had him um, at our state conference before. It's been a few years. He is the guy that puts the numbers to historic preservation and renovation and rehabilitation and all that stuff. Um, and And proves that um, it is beneficial for your downtown. Um, you know, that whole, uh, you know, cost you to have a vacant building, he helps put those numbers to it. And so um, he always brings great knowledge, um, whatever they're currently working on or studying. So it's always newer uh, numbers that he brings every time he speaks. Um, and so he'll bring examples, not only from the United States, but um, him and his company also work nationwide um, with revitalization um, and placemaking stuff. So always a, a hit. Thank you, Keith. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to move on to the exhibitor's drawing. Um, we have it at 9.30 to 10.30. A huge list of prizes for this. Um, so you'll want to go around and visit all the different um, exhibitors, get an a sheet initialed, and then that goes in for a drawing. Uh, you need 15 of those exhibitors. Uh, initials, and then you go in for a drawing, and there's multiple drawing uh, possibilities for that as well. And we'll have um, a beverage break and some snacks at that time also. Okay, and then we're going to wrap up Friday night with Evening of Excellence Awards. And those that are on the call this morning, again, congratulations to those that are semi-finalists. Uh, we're excited to announce the winners um, on Friday evening. 
Uh, we are going to kick this off at six o'clock with a uh, reception outside the, the ballroom and then uh, be able to go into the ballroom about 630. And if you have not bought your tickets for that as well, you need to. And then also we still have a couple of VIP tables available. And so if you have not bought the VIP table for your group, um, I highly suggest that you do that so you can be seated together, but also you guys have a lot more fun things um, to, to receive during that time. And that will be the finale of our conference. Those board members that are on here, though, MMSC board members, you guys aren't done. You have a board meeting the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know if you were going to share that. It's the finale for all the participants, but we still have a little bit of work to do. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So we're but, excited to see you guys. Um, let us know what questions that you have. Well, Kaya asked, is there music at the evening dinner? Well, I'm sure hoping that Kaya can provide that. <laughs> <laughs> No, Kaya, there is not, there's not music or dancing at the end. Someday we need to do that. We need to form a committee and you get to be the chair of that. And you can give us all dancing lessons. <laughs> yes. We have a new, in Excelsior Springs, we have a new dance studio. We could invite them to help participate. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. What other questions do you guys have? I know we've covered a lot of information. Um, uh, so much of what we um, presented today is available on our website momainstreetconference.com so please go check that out um, it's at the bottom of the screen there um, on the the left um, so just um, take a look at that um, also feel free to call our office um, if you do have questions or having issues with registration or something let us know so the setup times for the expo booth, um, I'm not sure if anybody has that in front of them. I can look that up if Gayla, you want to- Keith, Keith, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll look it up. If you want to look, if you want to answer the question, um, Gayla, about when are you announcing those for the awards Friday night, you answer that question and I'll look up the expo hours. Okay, um, we're announcing the awards at Evening of Excellence. So they will be announced that evening. Um, as we go through uh, the whole awards banquet. Uh, those that are, are getting award will also receive the next morning press releases that they can immediately send out. Um, and then we'll be following up with pictures as well. So you guys can get that information out um, very quickly. So we'll be providing all that to you also. Keith, did you find it real quick? Cause I think I, let me that right here. Yeah, I'm not finding it quickly. Look at this one. Got all these schedules. Okay, I think I've got it here. So Wednesday, Expo setup is from 3 to 5 p.m. So if you have a booth at the Expo, you can set up between 3 and 5 again, uh, 3 and 5. Um, and then if you... Um, you have to be open by 7.30 Thursday morning because that's when the expo opens. So we encourage you to set up from 3 to 5. Um, um, so Janelle is asking again, no, for Friday. So for the Evening of Excellence, um, we have notified all of the semifinalists, but we're not announcing the winners until that is announced at the Evening of Excellence dinner. Um, so all the semifinalists have been uh, um, alerted that they have semifinalists at, um, at, uh, for the awards, a semifinalist, and then the winners are announced um, that night at the Evening of Excellence. What other questions do you guys have? Those are good questions so far. And I'll say it again, um, we will be, this is being recorded. So we will post this um, and send out an email. Actually, the email will come out tomorrow morning um, as the follow-up email to the webinar. So you'll have the link if you need to share it with folks who couldn't be on the conference. Um, okay, I see a Julie McBride is asking, where can we find who the semifinalists are? Um, I don't know that we've ever posted that anywhere. We share it with the communities that have a semifinalist. 
um, just because there are so many. Um, so if you are in a Main Street community, I would reach out to your Main Street organization and they could tell you if they are a semifinalist. Um, and then can we buy an additional event ticket for a spouse to come to the networking happy hour bingo uh, uh, Wednesday night? Yes. Yeah, any of our ticketed events are available. You can get an extra ticket for a spouse or family member um, that's attending with you. They're open to, to family, so feel free to do that. All right, what other questions? Anybody else? We are excited to see you all in St. Louis. Um, it's going to be fun, and it's really going to be I think more fun than previous years in St. Louis because we have three districts now there. Yes, and I think you're going to see a lot of a lot of folks from St. Louis. I I I would venture to guess that um we we're probably going to have at least 40 people, 40 to 50 people from the St. Louis region at the conference. So I think you're going to meet a lot of those folks. And if you guys come up with questions that you just didn't think about asking, you know we're available. Give us a call. Um, or send us an email. Love to hear from you. But we're excited to see you. Yeah, I was going to type. I'll type my email here real quick. All right. Kathy Logan, do you have anything else? The only thing I would add is if you have any questions about registration, feel free to, to email me or call the office directly. Uh, I'm the one who handles all the registrations through our website. And all that. So it would be easier just to get a hold of me uh, instead of going through Keith, just because I can directly address any of those questions or comments you have. Yep. I put both of our emails on there. So uh, just general conference questions, you can send them to me. Um, anything dealing with registration or event tickets, um, um, direct those to Logan. All right. Well, I don't see any other questions. Thank you all for attending. And we look forward to seeing everybody um, in St. Louis. Thank you.